Good evening, everyone. Time for another member update. We've got a lot to report on the cryptocurrencies, but we're going to start out with the futures charts here. Um, so we'll start off with the stock indices. And you can see this is on the monthly. This is a long term. So if we go into the Dow, uh, crazy, crazy bull market all the way from the beginning of the Obama presidency until now. Is this the longest bull phase we've ever seen in the Dow? I, I think it's close. We're talking about eight years straight up bull market. Incredible. Uh, NASDAQ 100 kind of looking a little toppy when you get into the daily here. A little bit of strange activity going on. Uh, let's get back to the indices and you can see here this pattern right here rally up the new highs crash down exact same thing in the S&P 500 exact same thing in the Nasdaq similar pattern in the Russell 2000 uh, strange behavior in the Nikkei which kinda corresponds to this Euro stocks uh, not quite corresponding the DAX definitely corresponding what's going on well what I've talked about for so long these obviously aren't real markets or if they are real markets then you're not seeing uh, supply and demand as far as supply of stock and demand for stock but you're looking at supply and demand of money that is printed out of nothing that is digits on computers that uh, everybody accuses Bitcoin of being which it really isn't but this stuff really is this is just ones and zeros that the Federal Reserve creates with the click of a mouse as Bix Weir likes to say so when's it going to be over well that's the big issue and I personally believe that it's going to be over uh, when they pull the plug ultimately and we know with the metals let's look at the metals here uh, silver is still kinda sick here you can see this drop down to 1620 just an absolutely bizarre move let's get in on the five minute chart so what is that uh, it ain't real whatever it is it's uh, a move in silver at 4 a.m. from 1665 down to 1620 uh, back halfway then our sudden rally and now just kind of sideways movement uh, again not a real market same thing in gold same thing in platinum not in copper uh, nothing like that in palladium so what's going on well let's try to look at the big picture let's look at the long-term silver chart here so back into ancient history what is now ancient history you remember the rally that we had in silver it started in late 2007 it actually started in the fall of 2007 and this is when we got that breakout above fifteen dollars and we got that run up to $21, which corresponded to the day, uh, to the Bear Stearns announcement. Now, a lot of people had reported that Bear Stearns was operating the big short in silver. Silver ran up, made new highs, and then we can see that uh, what happened was, if you remember, J.P. Morgan was told by the Federal Reserve, or told the Federal Reserve, we're not sure which, that they're taking over the paper short position in silver silver promptly crashed from that point all the way down to ultimately its low of about I think it was eight dollars and fifty cents so a huge sixty plus percent bear market in silver that was the beginning of the financial crisis we know the way that they met the financial crisis was by printing money and boy did they ever print a lot of money to bail out the banks the response in the precious metals was to go long and you can see from that 850 where a lot of us were buying silver that's when it had its run all the way up to 50 bucks then of course they had to pull out another bag of tricks to stop it and we've been in a bear market ever since so the big question that everybody asks especially with Bitcoin performing the way it's been performing gold and silver being absolutely dead when is silver going to revive well, I don't think silver is going to revive until the next major crisis, and probably if this pattern holds until after 
So during the crisis you get a low and then it's after when the money is printed that you get the rally. Uh, when's that going to be? That's the big question. Well, I want to look at bonds uh, and the reason why is because the bond market is the chart that shows you what the response was to the financial crisis. The 30-year bond is probably the most telling. You can see starting here in 2008 right here uh, you had a in 2000, late 2007 you had a little bit uh, lowering of interest rates but it was when we had this big financial panic you had this massive spike in the bond price a massive lowering of interest rates and then a bull market in bonds ever since now what's interesting was around election time we got that sort of top in the bond market and everybody thought okay finally interest rates are going to rise and they did for a very short time but you can see now that we've actually come off the support here on the bond chart and we're now going back up interest rates are going back down again at least on the long term on the short term you can see on the two-year note uh, the pattern is even clearer you can see the beginning of the financial crisis you had a hundred and two on the two-year note then a massive rally in the price a massive drop in interest rates and then a bounce and then just this peg up towards the ceiling of zero percent interest rates and you can see interest rates just staying at virtually nothing for the longest time now they have come off that ceiling a little bit back down to this support level goes all the way back to 2003 but again nothing like what we had in the other recoveries quote unquote um, you can see that the recovery from the 90s recession they ended up raising interest rates significantly big drop in the two-year note same thing with the bush uh, bush two uh, we had that rally uh, in the two-year note lowering of interest rates until uh, then we have this tremendous raising right into the financial crisis so nothing like that is happening this time just a mild mild uh, increase in interest rates and uh, if the 30-year bond is any indication, uh, we're going to go right back to zero again. Uh, the five-year note, you can see starting to look more like the 30-year. And then the 10-year note, you can see that same pattern, the, the bond rally resuming. What does that mean? Well, I think it probably means that the next financial crisis is on its way. We don't know when, but like I said, I think the time when we see the precious metals take off is going to be after the crisis when they print more money to bail out the system again. Uh, but again, I don't have any time frame set for that. So let's go over and look at Bitcoin now. I've been playing this. It looks like we're headed back down. Uh, I had uh, been playing this. I've been buying the dips on this thing after it. Uh, I was pretty much in USDT around 2700 price or something and I, I was buying the dips buying 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 um, today was the day where I kind of flipped things it was a very violent day you can see on my account here uh, actually I've withdrawn a bunch of money so I actually had a ten thousand dollar swing in my account I was down seven thousand and uh, then ended up up three thousand on the day most of it was due to burst which was one that as Bitcoin was um, falling in price and I was accumulating Bitcoin I was taking that Bitcoin and accumulating burst the reason why is because when I saw burst get down near to this support I was thinking that uh, we would get a rally especially since burst had been into an all-time high I was looking to catch that bounce that just like the last time when I paid, played Stratus same sort of thing happened to me it went lower than I thought it could I just kept buying finally we got that rally and uh, that's how I made my profit ended up dumping a lot of it so I'm still trying to get money out of Poloniex. I still keep making money, so there's still more money to remove. But uh, some very disturbing news out of Poloniex, uh, considering what they've done with first Ethereum and now apparently Steam. So if you can see, if you look on Poloniex site, Due to ongoing network instability, we've disabled Ethereum deposits withdrawals. will enable once we know the network is functioning properly. That's the 22nd of June. 
that they disabled deposits and withdrawals of Ethereum. Okay, this isn't some little uh, crap coin, as people say. This is a $30 billion cryptocurrency. And you can see here that also, when it says here temporary disabled, uh, you can see that also Steam dollars and uh, Steam and Storage Coin those are all disabled on Poloniex. Now this is starting to raise some serious red flags. And uh, I, I just want to show you, for example, on Bittrex, you can see here, if we go to Steam, I can click on the plus and it gives me an address there. So I can deposit Steam on Poloniex, I, I mean on uh, Bittrex. I can deposit Steam dollars. There's my Steam dollars address and uh, storage. I can deposit storage there and let's check Ethereum. Uh, so we'll go to the first page here. And there's Ethereum and Ethereum Classic. I click on plus, uh, generate new address. Oh, I'm sorry, new address. Generating address, waiting for new address. And there's my Ethereum address. So I can deposit and withdraw Ethereum. Ethereum, Steam Dollars, Steam Storage on Bittrex and all the rest of the exchanges as far as I know, but not on Poloniex. This is the same pattern we saw on Cripsy. One by one, you, the coins started to be disabled. Very, very disturbing. I'm going to be able to get my coins off before this goes under. I don't know. I, I am seriously concerned. And this article has made me even more concerned. Uh, what I did was I went on to Poloniex and I took this, uh, and this is another thing disturbing I want you to see here. To meet increasing demands of, on support staff, the troll box has been disabled indefinitely and moderators have been reallocated to assist in support. Well, anybody who knows anything about Poloniex knows that uh, when you had stuck deposits, you couldn't get anything fixed. You couldn't get any, you know, you weren't getting any help from support, which apparently is atrocious at Poloniex. Um, you've got to, uh, to say something in chat, and sometimes they they would, you know, say, "Okay, well, I'll take a look at that." Now that's gone, so that's another disturbing sign. Uh, so let's read this uh, before we do this. Actually, I'm so concerned here. I want to jump to my Coinbase account and uh, see if I can sell the stuff I took off there because it looks, yeah, we're getting a drop now. Uh, it looks like we're rolling over. So I'm just going to try to sell some more real quick here. Um, yeah, and so all you can see here on my coins, uh, I did a withdrawal of one Bitcoin here, and it still only has one confirmation, 8.45 p.m. That was a half hour ago. I have one confirmation, zero confirmations on something that I did 25 minutes ago. Still can't get my money off. Very disturbing. So back to that warning here about the troll box. Uh, that's another one, another red flag where there's smoke, there's fire generally. Just my opinion, I'm getting my coins off of Poloniex as fast as I possibly can. Uh, something really smells here so let's look at this article steamians warning day two do not use poloniex at this time for your steam and sbd transfers ethereum and maybe other things here's why beware of poloniex withdrawals awaiting approval our friend here at team steam had a very strong warning to all of us here he does not want to see anyone hurt he has a good heart he warned people like others have done to not use Poloniex for any steam or SBD transfers right now please re-steam this post help others also they are your family on top of yesterday's warnings we gave you in a post very late last night Eastern time I included again today's word the last 24 hours Poloniex has now disabled ethereum wallets See here in the bottom are the screenshot I've highlighted over my green cursor and pasted their notice word for word. And that's the ongoing instability one. I use and have regularly used Poloniex charts as an example at times for graphic purposes, but here is what Team Steam said in their comments section of my post earlier tonight. I edited that post as it was important to him and I like him. He's a good guy. Neither of us are other 
neither of us nor others want anyone new to crypto or have been in crypto a while to get hurt and if you like please go look at my wallet and see that I have five hundred dollars of steam dollars sitting at Poloniex myself that money is for my steam fast money to get to Portugal I'm writing in this warning with words blessing from team steam showing you that we can all be a team together everyone achieves more that we can and should care about each other and working etc if anybody does not work uh, want to get hurt it's people like me who have lost money who have money sitting at Poloniex I have $500 in uh, steam dollars sitting there you can see from my wallet screenshot I'm backing what I'm saying my SBD deposit to Poloniex was sent nearly 12 hours ago and it's not in my Poloniex wallet Poloniex is the biggest exchange going most people know their name and logo and charts it was for a graphic illustration only that's why I use their charts much of the time. People recognize them, but man, do they have a lot of problems these days. The news has been everywhere for months, my friend. So that's it. More disturbing news about Poloniex. Now we've got Bitcoin tanking, and I can't get out. Uh, but uh, I'm not going to worry too much about it. Uh, I'm just grateful that I was able to transfer those over to Coinbase. Uh, I'm mostly in USDT now, waiting for another low. Maybe I'll buy some bit, some more Bitcoins. Like I said, a big day for me. A swing of uh, down 7,000 to up 3,000 uh, using Burst. And uh, I'm still long some Burst, but we'll see what happens with that. Um, again, with the markets uh, for silver, I just... I don't think it's going to happen until we get the big one. Uh, I'm, I have said for a long time that silver is the Achilles heel. It is the one they concentrate on. I think that when you connect the dots and see how the silver chart connects in with you know, the beginning of the recession, the Bear Stearns crisis, the manipulation, the transfer over to J.P. Morgan, the run-up in M2, the crash down with Obama and, and all of them doing all that manipulating, and the continuing bear market. It's pretty clear to me that silver is one of the keys, if not the key to this whole thing. I don't think that it's going to take off until we get the next big one and then they reflate. And we'll talk to you next time.